Hey guys, this is Robert at the Madison County Public Library. This week we're doing popsicle catapults. You want to get it started? Let's go! So in your kit, you should have three different types of items. The first off being five rubber bands. So we're only going to need three of these for this, but I provided two extra to make sure that if for whatever reason yours decides to snap or break you have an extra next we've got ten popsicle sticks so um, just like the rubber bands just in case these end up getting warped or broken or anything like that you can easily just replace one of them so we're only actually going to need eight of these and lastly but not leastly trusty plastic spoon Now, what we got, we're going to grab about seven popsicle sticks for our arm. So once you have seven, you want to stack them up. If I can even stack them up. Stack them up just like that, and then we're going to grab two rubber bands. We're going to use one at a time, and then we're going to tie down each side. So uh, I'll show you two different methods of how to tie, but the first one that I like to do is to double over your rubber bands just like this. This one actually goes a little bit quicker than the other one and it's a little easier for me. But then we're going to rubber band the end if I can get this camera to focus. There we go. So we're going to pull this out. You don't want to put it all the way out here because sometimes rubber bands like to slide and come out so you wouldn't want that. So we're going to get that as close to the edge as we can without going over. Next, we're going to grab the other rubber band and do the other method, where we take the other arm and then just wrap it around kind of like a rope in a way. This one takes a lot longer because you have to wrap it around a lot more. And then to tie it off, just flip it over just like that. Then we have our arm. Nextly, we're going to grab another popsicle stick and another rubber band and our spoon. So we're going to take this, kind of lay them out how we kind of want them. You may want them at different points, uh, whether you want to go for distance or if you want to go for height. That is up to you, but you can put it in different spots uh, and see how they go on your own. But I'm going to do what I think is best, and I'm going to take the rubber band and put it right around here, right up at the front. So I'm going to get the maximum amount of distance in, that I can get. So we're going to tie our rubber band just like this. We're going to take each edge and then just kind of put our finger right there. This shouldn't be too tight, at least not yet. Then we're going to take our popsicle stick and go underneath where our finger is. Try not to stab yourself with it. We're going to take that and put that underneath. The top one to go underneath that popsicle stick. We're going to slide it out a little bit. Next, while holding on to this, it can get a little tricky. We're going to take the end of our spoon and slide it down just like that. And then we're going to try to make them meet in the middle. And then we're going to take this. We're going to as long if the arm flips on it, you just like it did me. What it's okay for right now. Uh, but we're going to twist it and do that. And then we're going to while holding on, pinching onto it, we're going to do the same thing on the other side. This should create a very good and snappy feel. So you can probably push those up and then you can scooch around your your spoon on your arm. So next we're gonna push our arm and twist it. You not want what I'm what's happening here is we're twisting the rubber band and not the actual arm. So what we're wanting to do is probably hold on to the tip and shift this around and try to shift the rubber band back into place 
So we're just only shifting the arm and not the rubber band, because if we shift the rubber band too much, it's just wanting to take the arm back with it. So, just like that. And now we have a catapult. But that wouldn't be so much fun. Oop, I messed that up. So, there we go. I had to push that a little further out. So, I have a small experiment. We're gonna try. To, we're gonna take these outside the library here in just a second. Uh, so every time you put a stick in here, it makes it uh, makes the spoon's pivot point higher and higher. So which means you can pull it back, and it should shift how far and how high these go. I have another popsicle stick catapult ready to go, and it has, I believe, five popsicle sticks compared to the one that we have seven. We're going to take them outside and we're going to fire a couple of what I like to call sticky note balls. So I just grab a little sticky note, put it up into a ball, we're going to fire them like this and see if we can get a couple of them to go really far or not fall far at all. So now that we're outside, Let's go outside I've got the it. five stick catapult right here and the seven right here. We're going to start off with the five and we're not only going to shoot one, we're not going to shoot two, two, but we're going to shoot th three sticky balls down this table and see which one goes higher, which one goes farther. I'm going to load it up. It's best to hold it up right here. And that one got there, so one. Ooh, knocked it down. Two, it landed that way. Actually, went negative feet. And this is gonna be third one. That one went pretty far. It's about half length the table. So now we're gonna move the seven. Sorry about all the noise. So we're gonna move the seven. Let's see how far. That one went a little further than the farther five. We had the second one. This is round number two. That one went further than the other one. We're not far firing as straight as I would like it to. But we'll try. Try this last one. Maybe we'll curve this one to see if it will land on the table. Nope. And that one did as well as the first one for the seven. So in my opinion, I think I would go with the five rather than the seven but if you want to go to the seven to the five all you have to do is be really careful and just push out a couple of sticks or you have the opportunity to take this apart and rebuild it again any way that you want so i just want to say thank you for watching this is robert have fun and by the way i want to see your guys' creations in the comments so, have fun, good night.